Antihistamines are among the most commonly prescribed drugs in children. According to the recent annual Italian report, the categories of drugs most commonly prescribed in Italy in 2014 are those related to the respiratory tract, including indeed antihistamines. These drugs are generally recognized as safe and effective also for the youngest. However, many molecules of these categories have not been studied in children. These antihistamines are categorized into first-generation antihistamines or sedating antihistamines and second-generation antihistamines. The first-generation antihistamines have a poor receptor selectivity, occupying also muscarinic, cholinergic and serotoninergic receptors, and this aspect can lead to specific side effects. They are lipophilic and easily cross the blood-brain barrier, giving so the most common side effect on the central nervous system, and that is drowsiness. Uh, they are uh, rapidly metabolized and they need to be administered more times a day. And unfortunately, the first generation antihistamines are, have not been well studied in children. On the contrary, the second generation antihistamines have a higher receptor selectivity and lower side effect. They are lipophobic and do not easily cross the blood brain barrier. They have a prolonged half life and so they need to be administered only one to two times a day. For their characteristics, the use of first generation or sedating antihistamines is not suggested in pediatric age. The only indication, especially for the side effect for the drowsiness, is the therapy of the, each of the intense pruritus during an acute flare of atopic dermatitis. On the contrary, the second generation antihistamines uh, have lower side effects compared to the first one and they have, are well tolerated over for a long period. So the guidelines suggest that their use is as the first therapy of choice uh, in the treatment of allergic rhinitis and acute and chronic urticaria in children. Thank you.